Hello, are you having trouble figuring out how to delete products in your big commerce store? I'm going to show you three ways to delete products in your big commerce store that make it really easy in this video. Before we get started, my name is Cal. I'm a developer, a store owner just like you, and I run a private community for e-commerce store owners called e-commerce growth. And each week I post more e-commerce videos in this channel. So if you find it useful, subscribe and hit the bell so you can see more. All right. So, you know, again, in this video, I'm going to show you guys three different ways to delete products in your big commerce store. And let's go to the screen share. Easiest way. First of all, what you'll notice here, if I go to uh, a product like my test shirt product is uh, there's just no delete button here. And uh, you know what? I'm with you. It seems weird. There's no delete button on the individual product page. Maybe that's something they will add in the future. Uh, but at least the, at the time of this uh, recording, there's no there's no delete product on the individual product view. Where you can delete a product, though, is on the view products view. So I can come in here and just click to delete this test shirt and click the little trash can button. Are you sure? I'm sure it's gone. So that's way number one is how you can easily delete one product. Now, if you want to delete a whole bunch, right, you can come in here and you can do the checkbox and then do the trash can to delete everything that's checked. Now, this is going to delete everything that's checked on this page, but not all of the pages within this paginated view. So you know, if you want to do it this way, you may want to expand your view to 100, which is unfortunately the maximum that you can do. So you could at least delete 100 at a time this way. Um, you do need to make sure that the view that you're looking at makes sense as to what you want to delete. So maybe instead of me just deleting all these products, uh, you know, just in a broad swath, maybe I want to limit these to just products within a category or whatever and you could do this you can do that with the search filter right there by putting in a keyword and filtering it you can also easily go to like if you want to just delete one category you can go to the products category menu and say i want to delete all of my apparel products well from here if i click the ellipses and choose products and then it takes me back to the products view but filtered just for that category which is really easy so now I could delete all of the items within this category by clicking that and then choosing the trash can. So this is how I would delete, you know, multiple products at once and also how I would limit them to just one category. Now, there's also one other thing, which is when, you know, you have a ton of products, like say you have 10,000 products and you can't sit here and delete a hundred at a time for 10,000 products because that's going to take you all afternoon, right? Um, so what you want to do then is you want to be able to delete either all of them or just a whole bunch of them at once. And I'm going to show you the secret cheat code on how to do that, you guys. Here's how you do it. So you go to product categories. And so it's got all of these categories here. And what I'm going to show you how to do is actually delete either... Yeah, let's just say we're going to delete all of your products in your store. Click this and then the trash can. And it says, okay, you're deleting these categories, but the categories contain 45 products. So if I choose to delete the products in these categories, then I just deleted all of the products in my store and their categories. So there is a caveat in that you're deleting categories, i.e. category pages in doing this too. But you know, I think that the scenario that people would use this delete all type of methodology for is if you've done like an import and something went wrong and you want to just wipe them and re-import them. So it totally makes sense to just delete all of your categories anyway, because those are going to be recreated when you do your next product import anyhow. So those are three different ways to delete products, either one at a time, you know, a hundred at a time <laughs> using the, the check to delete all and then using the delete product categories to delete all of this all of the items in your store all at once now if you want to just delete all of them within a category you could technically have just deleted one category 
from the product categories method. So either way, I think this gives you a lot of options on how to delete products depending on you know, how many that you want to delete at once. All right, so if you found this helpful, hit the like button below, I'd really appreciate it. If you are interested in joining our free community of store owners, uh, go to joinecommercegrowth.com, links right up there. And if you need a developer team for your site, check us out at Epic Design Labs. This is all we do, and we love working with people just like you. And finally, I'm always looking for ways to help you out. So if you are struggling with something, leave me a comment below, or if you wanna just say nice things, leave me a comment below too, that would be great. Either way, um, I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Thank you so much, and I'll see you soon. Thanks.